Today's day 12 and, I, and today I'm doing the final coat on the back of the white doors. I'm just brushing it on because like I said I don't care about the brush marks on the inside. I just thought I'd show one more time uh, just how I go about painting with a brush. First I'm doing the edges and with small little quick strokes. Make sure there's not too much on. I'm not going to worry about the top or up here because you won't be able to see it and it already has white paint on it anyways. Making sure that there's nothing dripping on the back side. The next thing I'm going to do is the grooves on the inside. I'm going to really work it into the corners, but don't get too much paint in there or it'll puddle. I see any dust, I take it off. I dusted it really well before I started, but sometimes they magically appear out of the middle of nowhere. So I just kind of take them off. So I'm always kind of looking at the light reflection to see if there's any dust or little pieces that floated on it. Now that the inside's done, I'm going to do the flat plane, this part. What I'm going to do is get the paint on there, and you can brush hard or whatever, it doesn't matter. You just want to get the paint on there. And make sure it gets all the way up in all the grooves that were maybe there before. A speck of dust. Once it's covered, I lightly go over it. Because you want to create as little grooves as possible so they can even out. Brush off any excess paint. You can also get the paint on originally with um, a roller. But I had a few and they got kind of gunked up and I didn't have another one so just using my brush it just takes a little bit longer than using a roller. But even when I put it on with the roller, I would come back and create these long soft brush strokes. A little bit of dust right there. Now you want to do this kind of quickly because you want to make sure you get it all done before it starts to dry. You don't want to overwork the paint. If you get any extra paint in these holes for the hinges, I should just use my finger and wipe the extra paint off so we don't get drips in there so the hardware won't fit anymore. And I'm using a uh, one and a, I think this is a one and a half inch angled brush. Angled works better because you can kind of cut into the corners a little better and this happens to be a pretty brush. It's a nylon polyester brush, which is nice. It doesn't lose any hairs. It cleans really well. I haven't had any problems with it so far. And you want to make sure that it, there's no extra paint dripping off the side. So I kind of really lightly brush off any extra that may have gotten on there. There you go. This one's done. I'm going to let it dry for two days before I flip it over. You really can recoat it after 16 hours, but since this is the final coat, I really want to make sure that it's hard before I flip it over and do the front. So it's going to sit for a couple days here in the basement before I paint it on the front.